Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Rider, Bonsai and Cacti. This week we're going to work a bit on this tree. I bought this tree about a year ago. <clears throat> the way it is now. That means it was in this pot in uh, spring next year, probably February. We're going to repot it. So I'm going to try and put it in a in a bowl. Maybe I can I, don't, I can take a little bit more sand away. The way I see this should be possible. Um, I didn't touch it, so I saw no secretaries or scissors or whatever. Um, when I bought it, as you can see, there are two main trunks, one to the right, one to the left. And as I bought it, this was, this part was sort of bad, and this part was sort of bad. Um, yeah, it was close to each other, but sort of two pads. Uh, this at the top, it wasn't there. This is all growth from this year. So we need to work a bit on it. You see probably that the first needles start to get yellow see a little bit better in a few weeks the whole tree will be yellow all the needles will be yellow and then they will fall off so I thought it's a good time to work on this tree so, as I said it had two sort of pads one here and one here and I want to Keep that impression, you know. So try to take a few of the the branches which go up, take them away. At the same time, we must make sure that it's not doesn't start looking as a hedge where you cut off everything. So. It's a little bit difficult for me. I don't want to take away these branches. Although it would help creating the image of two pads. I don't want to take that away. First thing I, I want to do is take part of the top away. I'm going to do this for now. But probably I'm going to cut it here. Maybe. Two. branch I could have maybe let me see I could have wired it a little bit more for that let me check this Could have done it. Maybe we are going to do it. Let me think about this. At the same time, I'm not sure yet. It's a little bit of a challenge for me, this tree. Why? Well, because I'm going to cut this because I don't want this part go too wide for there. It's a little bit of a challenge for me, this tree, because I don't 
have a lot of experience with these trees. So it's a bit difficult for me, but we will manage. We will manage. Not too big, I said. Peep a little bit. Sides for that. So take this one off. This one comes straight towards the front. This one also. I, as you probably can see, I left one bud here to, for it to develop more for there. That's part of bonsai, isn't it? Trying to keep in mind the development of the tree. If I want two pads, then this branch should come off also. And then it's, I don't think we need this branch. It, I can wire it, but I think there's enough foliage here. So, and this sticks up. So what are we going to do? Where are we going to cut it? Because I cut it there, this next year will have enough sun to put on some growth. Otherwise, if I would have let this branch exist, these probably would have gotten way too less uh, sun. This tree is standing at a on a piece of wood, a block of of, of big trunk of, of a tree, half a meter high. So you, it's not at eye height, like I said, like I try to call it. If you stand there, the eyes are not here, but much more high. So it's a little bit difficult to see. I think this one can go also. I'm going to again let, let, uh, let one possibility of a new branch here, one bud to touch the that. Down. I'm looking at this and I think we could take it a little bit down with a piece of wire so we have almost an instant pad here if we want could do this here no this doesn't maybe these two I hope you can see I think this would be nice. Pad here on the left, the pad here on the right, and then the crown. Let's take some wire and try to do that. So, I drilled two holes in the pot, and now we're going to put some guy wire. What I like to do is take a piece of 
pose. It's, it's very flexible, you see. It's actually air tubing for aquariums. And what I do is I make sure that I bend it so the branch doesn't get damaged by the wire. But you can see, I like to work with guy wires. Because, yeah, because I, I think sometimes it's more easy than wiring the whole branch, especially if you don't need the, the branch to be wired. You know, it's, let's see how long do we want this? So, I left it a little bit longer. Put it through the hole in the pot. And voila. Now it's more easy to make it cut. We're going to cut this off because it was sticking up and we don't want um, we don't want branches sticking up from a pet. You see? Now this one what are we going to do with this one? We will want this as a pad. I'm not sure. There's a leaf there. You see? And a stick. There are some very big oak trees very near of the place where my uh, bonsai garden is. So sometimes something falls there. I'm still not very convinced. What do you think, guys? to make this a pad too or will there be too many pads I'm not entirely sure it gives a little bit more depth to the to the tree and I think this is a, a branch which should be really wired so let's wait with that so, a little bit more of a pad I said so, cut that one off and maybe this one Almost forgot where my, my secretary was 
my room is in the I'm going to pop this off. This bothered me last year, and it still is bothering me. So. Now we have sort of a flat top, and I have to say I like that. To give the impression of two pads, one here, and one a little bit more for there. We're going to cut this one off too. I don't think it's an easy, even though it, it, it looks so easy, I don't think it's an easy tree to work on. This one can also, what happens if we take this one away? I think that would be good too. So, This should be worked on a little bit too. I cut those two off because they grew straight to the bottom and we don't want this. I think I'm going to cut a little piece of here and a little piece of here just to stimulate the back body. Let me see. We don't need this one here. It was also too long and like this we get some back budding. Same here at the top. Do we want this? This one is also a little bit too long, and we want some compact possibilities. Back budding. So. What do you think, guys? What should I do? I'm very curious about what you would do. I have to say I like it like this. I'm a little bit concerned about this branch. What are we going to do with that branch, this one. Let me take a look from the front. This is my front. So, put a plastic stick there to mark the front. This one, and we get a little bit of a gap there. At the same time, if I want to give the impression of a pad here and a pad on this side, maybe I should cut it. Let's I don't want to cut too much. Although next year we, we will get growth again, to be honest.
at the same time it will give a little bit more filling to this pad although this one and this one and that one can go i think this gives a little bit more impression of the pad here and this belongs to the pad here we have to cut this let me see this one See, I'm not cutting a lot. And this is because it's the first time I tried to style this tree, and it's a little bit challenging, as I said. I don't want to cut too much. I, I like this tree a lot. What do you think, guys? Would you cut more? I mean, I know there's a possibility of cutting this. If, you, if I take this part, this, this this branch away totally. I have a pad here and I have a pad here on top. But I'm afraid it will get too empty. Yeah. Oh. To be very honest, I don't think it will be too empty if I see it like this. I think it will look rather okay. I'm going later, clean this up a little bit. You see? And then take that one away. And now we have a pad here. And we have a pad here, which we can develop a little bit. So, and don't forget, I'm still going to wire this one a little bit more for the for for this side, and then try to do it like this. So we have a pad there also. It gives me the almost the impression that I should take this off totally, but I'm not going to do this for now. I want to look at it a little while. I think first thing is wiring that back branch. So guys, I just finished wiring this branch. This one you see and now I want to bring it a little bit more down and more for the center for the back so let me see if we can manage to To do that. So What do you think, guys? I think it's okay. It fills the back here. And if you look through this gap, then you see the, the, the branch gives depth. At the same time, we still can see it here. So I think it's rather okay.
individual take a little bit here This very close himself. Well, I have to say, I'm rather content with what we did. This is this is too thick, it would be ideal if we could bring this down a bit, but it's too thick to bet. And I don't want to risk damaging the tree. So let me see. I still think... We will take this one away. If we would take this one away, we would see a little bit more of a pad here and a pad here. At the same time, it takes the eye a little bit away from the branches and the back. If you look at it from the front. No, I think we're going to to keep it this way. I think we're going to keep it this way. And maybe allow this whole part to be one thin pad, thin. Let's see how it develops next year and we can work from there again. Like I said, in, in uh, spring I'm going to do a repot. I probably have to um, put two new guy wires here because it's, um, it, would, it won't hold if you just let it be like this over winter. I think, but we can see uh, when we report it. Another it's end of September now, September 29th, so October, November, December, January, February, five months. Maybe it will set. I don't know. We will see. Well, this was it for this week. Thank you very much for tuning in and see you next time.